In this video, we will copy data and charts from an Excel workbook to a PowerPoint presentation using VBA. Perhaps you track daily stats and create charts in Excel to present to management for a morning stand-up. I will assume you have an Excel worksheet already created. Perhaps it looks like this. We will create an Excel VBA macro to copy this data and this chart to a PowerPoint presentation. First, from Excel, open the VBA editor by pressing Alt plus F11. At the top, write Option Explicit. Option Explicit means you can't use a variable without declaring it. I will show you what that means in a few seconds. It is not required you keep this option on, but it will save you a lot of time debugging. Just trust me. Now make a subroutine called Make Slides. This subroutine will have 16 lines in it to do the work of creating a PowerPoint presentation and adding the Excel data. Type sub space make slides open parens close parens and press enter. Let's start with the range of cell data in Excel that you want to appear in PowerPoint. We declare the my data variable to be of type excel.range. To programmatically get to this range, we will have to go through the worksheet it is in. So we need a variable for the worksheet of type excel.worksheet. In the previous two lines, we were declaring what type of variable we would be working with. Now we will set the variables to objects. To set a variable to sheet 1, we go through the application global property called Active Workbook, then access the sheets collection and get the sheet named Sheet1. Finally, we go through the Sheet1 object to get our data by specifying the cell addresses to the range property. Now we copy that range to the Windows clipboard. Now how do we get the data into a PowerPoint presentation? For Excel to control or use PowerPoint, we need a reference to PowerPoint's library. In the VBA editor, choose Tools, References, Microsoft PowerPoint 15.0 Object Library. The 15.0 means Office 2013. 15 is not required, just choose the highest version listed. Now back to the VBA code. There is a shortcut for declaring a variable and setting it to a new object when using new. Dim variable name as new type. So in our case, dim ppt app as new powerpoint dot application. You can still write it the long way if you want as a separate dim and set statement. The application is the running program not any particular presentation. Now actually create a new powerpoint application. After this line powerpoint will start you will be able to see it in the task manager process list. Now let's make the PowerPoint application visible. This is necessary because after the presentation slides are built, we are going to leave PowerPoint running and the user will save the presentation manually. It is possible to save the presentation in code, and then the whole process could be automatic and it would not be necessary to make the PowerPoint application visible, but I won't be covering that in this video. Now that the PowerPoint process is running, we need a new presentation to put our Excel data in. So again, we first declare the type of the variable. That pres will be of type PowerPoint.Presentation. Then we create an object instance. Instead of using new, like we did with the application, presentations are accessed and added through the presentations collection. Now that we have a new presentation, we need a slide to put our Excel data on. First, we declare that the first slide variable will be of type PowerPoint.Slide. Slides is a collection that is accessed through a presentation, just like presentations is a collection that is accessed through the application. The add method requires two arguments, the slide index, starting with one, and the type of slide layout to use. There are only so many predetermined slide layouts, and they are defined in the PowerPoint.PPSlide layout enumeration. We want a blank slide, so we use the PP layout blank enumeration variable. In VBA, parentheses are not required if there are no arguments to a method. 
but if there are arguments to a method and you are assigning a variable to an object the method returns, then you must use parentheses. Now most of the items that appear on a PowerPoint slide, such as text, pictures, embedded OLE objects, etc., are of type PowerPoint.shape. Now to copy the Excel data from the Windows clipboard to the PowerPoint slide, just call the paste method of the shapes collection. Now let's get the Excel chart onto the PowerPoint slide. This copy will be very similar to copying the Excel range, except that the Excel chart is of type Excel.ChartObject instead of Excel.Range. So first we declare the MyChart variable to be of type Excel.ChartObject. Chart objects are on Excel sheets, so we get the chart object from the chart objects collection off the sheet1 variable. Now copy that chart to the Windows clipboard with mychart.copy. Finally, paste the chart from the Windows clipboard into the shapes collection of the first slide variable. So that is some basic Excel to PowerPoint interaction to create a stand-up presentation from Excel data. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave comments. Let me know what other kind of programming content you would like to see and please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, CBT TJM.